bombers of General Douglas MacArthur's command bound for Japanese bases in New Guinea, repeatedly softening enemy resistance with smashing assaults from the air. First phase of new Allied offensives in the South Pacific. Japanese troop transports and cargo ships blasted and beached. Second phase of attack. A huge convoy with landing craft moves in to surprise 20,000 Jap troops known to be in the Lei Salamawa sector. A naval bombardment precedes the landing. Australians pile ashore, trained jungle fighters landing with full equipment for the biggest combined amphibious operation yet seen in the South Pacific. Now General MacArthur and Lieutenant General Kenney, Allied Air Commander, launch the airborne attack. United States paratroopers prepare to go into action. MacArthur, in the leading transport, goes to personally direct the combined assault. From the gunner's position, he sees his medium bombers lay a smoke screen over the enemy landing field. Action on schedule. Everything according to plan. Now, from the planes, supplies and equipment are dropped as the airborne striking force, men and weapons, fills the sky with their parachutes. Coming by land, after a five-day march, Australian ground forces join the American paratroopers on the enemy's own airfield. Cutting the tall kunai grass of the landing strip, they prepare for the arrival of reinforcements by air. And from over the mountains come huge DC-3s, bringing fresh troops and more equipment as the combined Australian and American forces join to drive the Japs from the important bases of Leh and Salamawa.